Hi, I'm going to show you how to use Google Meets to make a screen recording. The cool thing about using Google Meets to make a screen recording is that while your students are seeing your slideshow or your screen, on the side they'll also see a video of you talking. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is click on the waffle and you'll want to find Meet. If it's not there, you might have to scroll down. So you'll click on the waffle and you'll press Meet. You'll join or start a meeting. You don't need to give it a name and you're in the meeting. My camera's working, my microphone's working, you might need to give it permission, and I press join now. Notice that I'm not inviting anyone to the meet because I'm just using it to make a screen recording. So I'm going to go here to more options, and I'm going to click record meeting. If you don't see that no options, sometimes you have to click on the bottom to get that little three dots with the more options. There were also some people who had Snap and Read installed on their computer, so they couldn't see the three dots because Snap and Read was covering it, but once they clicked, this popped up. So you're going to go to Record Meeting. It's only me, so I have asked for consent. And the recording's going to start soon. You heard that little ding that lets you know that it started recording. You're going to press Present Now and choose your entire screen. So I'm going to choose my entire screen share and now here's the funny thing about google meets right now it says you're presenting to everyone but you can't see what exactly it is that you're presenting to everyone you have to remember oh yeah i chose to show my whole screen and you just have to trust that google is going to be showing your whole screen so once you've done that you can do anything you want with your screen they're still they're still going to see your video on the side so you could go here, you could present a Google slideshow, it'll let you know, hey, just so you don't forget, you're recording this. Um, you can go through your slides, you could um, model something online, go in a Google chat, um, sorry, a Google Doc. Okay, when you're done um, with your screencast, you're going to go to more options, stop recording. Okay. So now that you've stopped recording, you'll want to go to your email inbox, and it usually takes a few minutes, but I've got some other examples that are in my inbox already. But in a few minutes, no more than 10, you'll get an email with your Google Meet recording. And it'll let you know that your recording has been uploaded. You can open it in Drive. Now, to make sure that students can access it, you need to change the share settings. So when it's opened, you're gonna press this and go to share and go to advanced, change, and then you can do it so that only people with the link can access it or only people at Ann Arbor schools can access it or public on the web, depending on how sensitive your content is. I'm going to make it so anyone with the link can access it, and I save it. Here's my link to share it, but it will also be in your Google Drive. So now when you go to Google Classroom, and you go to upload something, classwork, create, assignment, I can add something from my Google Drive, and recent, you'll see your video from your Google Meet recording right there, and you can press add, and then students can watch your video. Please let me know if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to help.